Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the square. So, itong topic natin ngayon is the last type of parallelogram. Again, review muna tayo. Ha? When we say parallelogram, it is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite parallel sides. And one thing na kailangan ko request before, kayo mag, before tayo mag-continue sa square, I want you to watch the definition and the different properties of parallelogram as well as the properties of rhombus and rectangle. Because ang twist dito is that square is the combination of rectangle and rhombus. Yung properties or characteristics ng dalawang figure na to, rectangle and rhombus, is the mixture para makapag-create tayo ng square. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So before we start, let us define square. Square is a parallelogram. Define mo na natin na. Is a parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles. So again, ang definition na ginagamit natin for the square, it is a parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles. And kung mananotice nyo, kung napanood nyo na yung rhombus and rectangle natin, yung definition natin ng square is the combination of definition of rhombus and rectangle. Dati, or sa isang video natin, we defined rhombus as a parallelogram with four equal sides. And in the other video, we defined rectangle as a parallelogram with four right angles. So, isipin nyo na lang that the definition of square is the combination of the definition of rhombus and rectangle. Now, para mas maintindihan natin yung definition ng square, again, it is a parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles. So, given this figure, we will try to elaborate what is meant by this definition. So, let's say, for example, we have the square, um, square G O N E. So, based on their definition, it has four equal sides. So, basically, guys, kapag equal yung sides natin, meaning yung length nila, o yung haba na bawat sides, ay pare-parehas. So, we can say that, based on this, ano, this illustration, we can say that side G O is congruent with side on again g o is congruent with side on and these two sides are also congruent with side en or ne and also congruent to side eg sir uh, can you please give us an example ng um para maprove that and that they are congruent parang ganito lang naman yan and so for example you have five units for ge Ibig sabihin niya, lahat ng to ay 5 units na rin. Ganun na kasimple yung mismong, yung mismong, ano, yung mismong konsepto ng uh, all the sides are congruent. Okay? So let's move on with the next part of the definition. It is a parallelogram with 4 right angles. So when I say 4 right angles, lahat ng interior angles dito are equivalent to 90 degrees. Ito ay may 90 degrees. 90 degrees and 90 degrees. And kapag tinanong ka, are the interior angles congruent? Yes, is the correct answer. Lahat kasi yan ay 90 degrees. So, I hope na nagets nyo or naintindihan nyo yung definition of a square. Again, it is a parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles. Now, let's discuss the different properties of a square. So, we have here the property of a square where in, it says here, all the properties of a rhombus ay kasama. The diagonals are perpendicular by sectors of each other. The diagonals bisect the angles. Number two, all the properties of rectangle, the diagonals are congruent. Number four, number three, all sides are congruent by definition as mentioned earlier. And number four, all angles are congruent by definition. So let's start with item number one or property number one. We're in, ito na ngayon yung properties o yung characteristics ni rhombus na na-adopt or naman ni square. So let's start with the diagonals are perpendicular. 
Let's say for example, we have diagonal, uh, we will draw a diagonal EO. So draw lang tayong diagonal EO. Okay? And another diagonal is diagonal GN. This is diagonal GN. Okay. So what is meant by these two properties adopted from the properties of rhombus? The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So yung pinaka meaning niyan, um, di ba ano, alam natin that the rhombus, yung diagonals niya are perpendicular lines or perpendicular diagonals. So ang ibig sabihin po niyan is that this angle is right angle and lahat to ay right angle or 90 degree angle. Yung kasi yung mismo na niya, perpendicular um, diagonals. And sabi nito, perpendicular bisector. Di ba? Kung, kung mananotice nyo, these two diagonals, GN and OE, bisect each other. And yung special gen is that hinahati nila yung isa't isa. Okay? So, ano yung isa din, sir? Um, when, when OE intersected GN, binisect nyo siya into two equal parts. So, ito ay equal dito. So, try natin ha. Maglagay tayo dito ng point. Let's say, for example, R. Um, based on this property, diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other. Nung nag-bisect sila ng dalawa, uh, we can say that GR, ito yun na, GR, G and then R, is congruent to RN. Yan. And, syempre, si EO naman, when, nung binaisek siya ni GN, nagkaroon din tayo ng two congruent segments. So, itong dalawang to, itong G ER, is also congruent to RO. Okay? Based sa ating property. Sir, um, hindi pa namin makalong gets. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, this, yung ER natin, a GR natin is equivalent to let's say 3 units. Okay? 3 units. So, ano ngayon yung length ni RN? RN is equivalent also to 3 units. Ganun lang yung mismo ibig sabihin ng property na to. Okay? So, let's move on with the next property. Sabi dito, diagonals bisect the angles. Again, diagonals bisect the angles. Okay, another property adopted from the properties of rhombus, wherein when we have this diagonal, we have here diagonal, yung opposite angles natin, di ba we know that this is equivalent to 90, okay? This is 90, it's a right angle yan. And this is also 90. Nung nagkaroon tayo ng diagonal, binaisek or hinati niya na yung 90 degree angle. Nagkaroon tayo, nakapagkaroon tayo ng two congruent angles. Let's say for example ito, you have angle G-O-R, G-O-M. So you have G, O, N, or angle gone. Wow, ako yan. It's equivalent to 90 degrees. Nung nagkaroon tayo ng diagonal, binesek niya into two equal parts. So that's why this angle is 45 degrees. Ito rin, 45 degrees. So we can say that angle G, O, E, G, O, E, is equivalent to 45 degrees. Again, G, O, E. As well as the angle N, O, E. Is equivalent to 45 degrees. N, O, E. And kung itutuloy-tuloy natin yung discussion natin about this property, alam natin na lahat ng, lahat ng angle na to is magiging 45 degrees based on this property, diagonals bisect the angles. This is 45 degrees. This is also 45 degrees. This is also 45 degrees. And this one is 45 degrees. Ito ay 45 degrees and 45 degrees. Yan yung mismo nga na. Yung mga properties na na-adopt niya from rhombus. Now, with the next property, sabi dito, all the properties of rectangle. Pero, um, sa lahat ng properties na yun, ang magiging focus lang muna natin ay yung diagonals are congruent. Kasi, uh, nabagkit na rin siya sa ibang, proper, sa ibang properties. So, what is meant by this one? Parang ano lang naman. If you have here a diagonal GN, we'll draw tayong diagonal GN, and diagonal EO or OE, 
Ang nangyari lang, uh, based on this property, we can say that diagonal GN is congruent with diagonal OE. Wherein, ang example dyan, let's say for example, your GN or diagonal GN is equal to 10 centimeters. Ganon din yung maging measurement ni OE, which is also equivalent to 10 centimeters by this property. And punta na rin natin yung property number 3. All sides are congruent by definition ito. I already discussed the property or the definition of it based on kanyang four equal sides at yung ating markings. And lastly, all angles are congruent by definition because all the angles measures 90 degrees. So I hope na sa ating discussion about the different properties of square, ay meron kayo natutunan about this. Kasi ano siya, importante siya dahil um, sa mga next na lessons nyo, for sure, you will be having the different problems involving square. And hindi nyo siya masasagot unless alam nyo yung mga properties na gagamitin nyo to solve those problems. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.